My name is Rabbi Dov Hillel Klein, the director of the Tannenbaum Chabad House Northwestern Jewish Center. In 1978, we purchased this building. Unfortunately, because of pressure of certain individuals in this neighborhood, the city council, the aldermen of the city, refused to give us zoning. Okay? Uh, that was so unconstitutional, and I personally feel it was a very anti-Semitic back in 1978. And uh, we took them to court. My parent organization took them to court. We won. But the city of Evanston didn't want to lose. And therefore, they kept appealing it until it went up to the Supreme Court of the United States. And the Supreme Court of the United States upheld the lower court decision. This was a seven-year process. It took us all the way to 1985. And we won that battle, and then they hired me. I always say the reason that it took so long was because I wasn't ready. I was in stolen diapers, so to speak. I grew up here in Chicago. Um, I'm from, from, I grew up in West Rogers Park before it became what I call Jewtown. I love going to uh, baseball games. I go to the White Sox games quite often. I guess I considered my parents non-observant Orthodox Jews. Uh, my parents didn't observe anything. We didn't keep Shabbat. We didn't keep uh, kosher in our home. But we did. Um, we were very traditional. And when my parents didn't go to synagogue. It was to an Orthodox synagogue. So I went to an Orthodox Hebrew school, which was a uh, congregation of B'nai Ruvain. So, and I enjoyed Hebrew school, and I got involved with a variety of different types of Jewish things. And I guess in eighth grade is when I made the decision and convinced my parents to send me to the Ida Crown Jewish Academy. I was very good in selling, and I, and I was very good at people. I was a people person. When I started learning about Judaism, I loved Judaism so much, I wanted to teach others about Judaism. In fact, in eighth grade, I had the nickname Kleiner Rebbe, because already in eighth grade, I was teaching others about Judaism and what our Jewish faith had to offer, uh, both uh, spiritually and, uh, and culturally. In eighth grade, I already made, I think, this decision that I, I wanted uh, to be a Jewish professor, uh, professional. And in those days, that meant being a rabbi. As I said already, that I wanted, I went on to the academy, and then I went on to school to Yeshiva. And then from there, I went on to study in Israel, and then I came back and finished my undergraduate work um, in a Chabad in um, Morristown, New Jersey. Did my internship in Seattle, Washington, and then I got my rabbinical. In fact, when I was in Seattle, I also did my rabbinical ordination at that time. And normally, it takes two years to learn for the rabbinate and do it in New York. But since I decided I wanted to do it already, I wanted to finish it up. So I really, I, I did it in three quarters of a year. I couldn't take away from my regular studies, so I used to wake up every morning at 3 in the morning. And from 3 to 7.30, that was when my first class started, is when I studied for the rabbinate. I feel my responsibility here on campus is to, uh, is to help Jews feel comfortable being Jewish at whatever level they're at, but to help them feel comfortable and have a sense of Jewish pride um, here at Northwestern. And um, I'm so proud of the fact that I was able to help in terms of the, uh, and I, I think one of the reasons is because we have a very strong Jewish fraternity here at Northwestern now, which I was able to help start. I think one of the reasons is our kosher program because that's a barometer for a lot of parents whether or not there's Jewish life at Northwestern. I think it's because of the tremendous amount of um, outreach work that we've done. We have this opportunity of taking students for free, 18 to 26 year olds for free to Israel if they've never been there before um, on a peer organized group. And I've already, this is going to be my, I've already led 15 trips. I'm going to be leading my 16th trip. Friday night at the Western Wall is one of my favorite memories. Um, that's not really a memory, it happens every time I go because we always go to the Western Wall on Friday night. And for me, I don't like to pray at the restaurant wall, even though, of course, I do eventually pray. I just like to watch all the different people and all the different types of people praying at the Western Wall. You know, I sometimes say to, to people that I'm, I, I, I feel burnt out. For me, feeling burnt out means maybe I take an extra hour and I play a video game in order to re-energize myself. First down! <laughs> My favorite moment at Northwestern actually didn't take place at Nath Northwestern. It actually took place in Pasadena, California. And what I mean to say is when Northwestern went to the Rose Bowl. And the, uh, the Alumni Association asked me as the only representative from the campus clergy who went to Pasadena, they asked me to give the invocation before the game. 
And here I gave the invocation before probably 70,000 70, Northwestern fans and who knows how many non-Northwestern fans. And I'll never forget that because I was sitting standing on this stage and there was balloons everywhere. And then I said, in my tradition, in my tradition, we conclude a speech with saying L'chaim and I was holding a beer in my hand. So I said, I would like to say L'chaim to life. Go cats! And the whole crowd screamed L'chaim. It was like... It was amazing. It was it was unbelievable. And of course, you know, um, we didn't win that game. But what can you do? I got them the points they needed. They just gave up more. Um, anyway, ooh, I just knocked off the flags. Great moments for me here at Northwestern is when I know that I've touched somebody else, brought comfort to somebody else, when I was be able to be there for for what somebody else needed in their time of need or in their good moments, just to be supportive of that. Good moments for me is seeing smiles on our students' face. Good moments for me is when I hear their students did well in their classes and they're proud of their, of their accomplishments. Those are my really good moments. Uh, good moments for me is, you know, when I can walk into Chabad House Friday night and I can see 60, 70, 80 students here just enjoying themselves, talking to each other, socializing, having just a wonderful time being in, in this environment and being able to say a l'chaim is very different than being someplace else and just drinking. That to me is my good moments here at Northwestern.